Okay, so hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop, Pop, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. <laughs> So today we are back and as you can see we have Sabine here. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys one thing before we started the episode. So you would have saw the thumbnail for the last video um, and Sabine looked a little bit different. She had like these bright green glowing eyes and she also had like this um, symbol on her forehead that sort of shows what type of magic she does. Um, so if I go ahead and change her into that, because I wanted to go ahead and give her that. So this is her last outfit, right? So she had like four different everyday outfits. I've now given her a second, uh, a second, no, a fifth everyday outfit. And this is the outfit that she can wear in the realm of magic, um, which kind of changes her eyes to bright green and also gives her this like little potion in green as well on her, which I think looks really cool. But I feel like she should only pull this out um, and show everybody that she's a witch actually in the realm um, and then obviously stay to looking a little bit more normal during like the normal situation so normally she'll have her eyes like this as a normal eye color like green and brown um, but it will change like bright green when she's you know doing her witchy stuff so <laughs> that should be kind of cool um, and then another thing was I also had her do a little bit of experimenting I also changed the house up a little bit as well so I did do a little bit of color decorations um, basically in here um, I had her go ahead and experiment quite a few times and because of that she actually um, developed into a neophyte or neophyte, we, we don't even know. So now she is a level 2 witch and I'm so proud of Sabine so she's doing really well. Um, and then she also has a talent point to spend as well which will be quite cool. So, um, we've got knowledge is magic, sim reads and does computer research at a faster rate. These interactions also provide magical experience over time. Potion crafting speed significantly increases. Ooh, okay, that sounds a bit like us. This sim can now discharge, which empties spellcaster charge. The sim now receives more items when harvesting magical ingredients. And when experimenting and practicing, sim gains experience faster with less values. I feel like we should do the pro potion crafting one, because she's a potion crafter, so that makes sense. So we'll have her go ahead and um, grab that one. So, um, yeah, she is now level two. And, oh, is she level two? No, she's level one of her um, aspiration. So she needs to own a cauldron and know three different potions, which she does. So she knows the potion of good fortune, which is a potion that um, is helpful while doing everyday activities. Um, a potion to annoy an enemy and turn their stomach, which will make somebody feel very sick. And a potion of plentiful needs, which of course will refill anybody's needs. And these all have like their own requirements, that like things that you would need to be able to make those, which is kind of cool. So uh, yeah, I, th I suppose that's where we're picking up from. It is obviously when they got back, so it's like 7 o'clock in the evening. And um, I'm wondering what we should have them do. So um so Aurelia's up, actually up. Um, I think she's doing a little bit of work at the moment. I think she's writing that clickbait article. No, she's not. She's basically just ignoring me. Okay, hold on. Let me just grab that. Freelancer, resume writing clickbait article. Okay, let's have her do that because she, that is due by tomorrow at 9am. So she needs to stay up and do that. Um, and then Sabine needs to work on her handiness skill. Um, but I don't know what we can ever do to work on that. It is actually Harvest Fair, so I feel like we should probably celebrate that at least a little bit. Um, there's some holiday gnomes, obviously, grand meals, thankful spirit. To be honest, oh, Aurelia's um, now reached level six of the writing skill. Well, that's pretty impressive. Um, to be honest, I don't think we can even... Ah, okay. Um, blah. Let's call it blah. No, do I call it blah? I don't even know what they're asking for. Let's call it black because I don't know what it's called. <laughs> yeah, all the grand meals cost too much. We can't even afford to do that. Okay, so she's written her a clickbait article and now we need to get the article approved. So locate the clickbait article in Aurelia's inventory and submit it to the client for approval. Okay, um, where's Blah? Blah is here. Okay, send to client for approval. Let's see if they will approve Blah. Clicks are pouring in from across the internet as readers debate the wild claims Aurelia laid out in an article which was clearly devised to drive controversy and outrage. Blah blah blah. Happily, the gig contract included... Ooh. Oh. Well, that's 
kind of cute. Lucidia is wondering if I want to come over. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go see our aunt. I don't see why not. Okay, so we just arrived and here is our auntie Lucidia. So this is our auntie directly through, you know, um, act. how does that make sense? Biological auntie, if that makes sense. Not through marriage, basically. Um, so let's come over here and maybe have a deep conversation with her. Um, her and her auntie have got a really, really good relationship. Just Let because of obviously, you know, everything that went on with their, with her parents at the, um, you know, when she was really young. And obviously her auntie took her in. So basically her auntie is kind of like her care dependent. Um, and, uh, you know, she's kind of like being her mum. But this is actually their house that they live in. They have a really, really cute little house. Um, on the other side of Gl Glimmerbrook. Glimmerbrook, I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure I managed it. Keep wanting to say Glitterbrook like everybody else over here on YouTube, but I get why. Um, so yeah, this was obviously um, Aurelia's bedroom when she was younger and growing up. This is what the bedroom that she actually used to live in. Um, so uh, clearly they've kept the bedroom because obviously they've stayed in the same house. As I said, they've lived in this house for years. So um, I don't know whereabouts um, her wife is. Her wife being, hold on, uh, uh, Euphenia. I don't know whereabouts she is. But either way, I'm sure we can talk to her aunt a little bit. Maybe, no, don't complain about Harvest Fest. Don't be so, like, downhearted, please. <laughs> Maybe be thankful with her. Um, and then she also needs to go and quickly use the toilet. So we'll run in and quickly go borrow her toilet. Um, and then I'm wondering what we should do. I mean, maybe she could make us some food. You know, maybe we could ask her to make us some food, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. Um, she has actually got some stuff out here. They've got some valerian roots and also some mandrake, which, which I know, um... I know Sabine would really appreciate that. Sabine actually just trailed along. I think she just invited herself as well, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I think Sabine would really appreciate us bringing some of those pieces home. So I wonder if we could go over there and maybe steal some. Can we Can we grab some? Can I pop those in my inventory? <laughs> Auntie, can I borrow these? No, we actually can't. Okay, well, we're actually going to have to go into the magic realm and go and pick some of that stuff up. But either way, um, why doesn't Sabine come over as well? She can come and talk to... Um, she can come and talk to Lucidia as well. So here is Euphenia. You guys would have seen her in the last episode, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we saw both of them in the Magic Realm. I'm not too sure what they were doing. Also, went back and was editing last video because obviously I've like had a break since I've recorded the last episode, as you can see, because we've got face cam in this video. So <laughs> um, otherwise I would have done face cam on the first episode. But either way, um, we, we saw... Okay, this is weird. Um, okay, well, let's just, let's just give her a nice hug. Um, basically, yeah, we ended up seeing her... Um, in the magic realm which i kept calling the spirit realm i have no idea why i must have been watching like ghost hunters or something before it because <laughs> i actually have no idea why i kept calling it the spirit realm but honestly it doesn't even matter it doesn't even matter um i think i think sabine's trying to talk to lucidia who she doesn't know obviously as well um but she still does you know really get on with lucidia as well so you know they haven't got a bad uh, relationship at all and they, you know, they, they're on speaking terms and everything. They're good friends, obviously. It's really just a friend of Aurelia's. So, you know, she knows her from growing up and stuff. So, um, okay. Um, I suppose we should probably head home now just because, we've, you know, we've said hello to everybody. We can't, oh, we can actually afford to make food. Oh, we can do that, can't we? Okay, how about we go home and we'll make that grand meal. We need to do it by two o'clock because I, I really would like to celebrate Harvest Fest, but I kind of feel bad because they're... <laughs> We didn't have enough money to buy any food earlier, but now that Aurelia just got paid, we're fine. So um, let's have them head home and then we will pick up uh, once we arrive. Okay, so we just got here and Sabine's pretty bored. So I am actually going to go have a cook up a grand meal. And I was thinking maybe just a normal... Uh, or should we just do ham dinner? I think a ham dinner is pretty good. Right, let's go and make that. And Aurelia actually needs to chat with the client. Um, so does she do that via her phone? How does she chat with the oh, client? No. Maybe that's on here as well. Hold on, freelancer, chat with client. Okay, let's have a go and do that and sort of talk with the client, see what she wants from us or he wants yeah. from us. Um, and then we need to start writing the motiva motivational book tomorrow. Um, um, obviously, we'll do that while Sabine is at work, which she... Yeah, she's got work tomorrow and then they've got the weekend off together. Um, or no... 
They haven't got the weekend off. She's gonna be she's gonna be working a bit over the weekend. But Sabine will be off, which means we can work on some of her potions and stuff like that. And um, I actually want Aurelia to get in contact with some of the sages. I think they're called the sages. You know, the people who are like the controllers of different types of magic that are in the magic realm. Yeah. I want to go and talk to those guys and actually, um, uh, you know, find okay. out what's going on with her magic and see if any of those have uh. any idea of to why her magic hasn't come through yet. Um, because obviously she's got she's got magic oh, blood in her, but God. maybe they'll you know have some sort of idea as to you know what's going on. But it seems that she isn't exactly having the best day. She's stumping on the table. She's just she's just not having a good evening, is she? Okay, well we're just gonna leave her and <laughs> look at food. Okay, <laughs> that'll make me happy. Right. Okay, Sabine, you better you better speed this up. We also need to go ahead and actually buy a thermostat, which here's hoping we can actually afford it. Okay, we can literally just afford it. Okay, let me go ahead and buy that because it's actually um, really cold in here. So we do want to go ahead and pop the heating on because as you can see, everybody's walking around in their, you know, cold weather wear because it's so cold in here. <laughs> so I should probably go ahead and actually um, pop that on. And I think Aurelia's actually finished talking to um, the clients. Uh, no, she didn't, she didn't even finish it. Um, okay, well... Okay, that's cool. Didn't even didn't even care anyways. She's come to grab an orange juice. Clearly, she needs to take a break. Okay, yeah, she needs to take a break. She needs to go grab an orange juice. That's fine, babes. You know, don't even worry about it. Um, okay, I love that. Sabine literally just walked off, completely forgot about the ham dinner that she was in the middle of cooking. I swear to God, she's like, she's a, she's a very very smart girl, but she's a bit of like a clumsy klutz. Like she would definitely set the house on fire just because she forgot that she was making food a second ago. <laughs> Although she's very smart at making potions, um, you know, memory is not exactly her forte. She has a book for all the ingredients to make the potions. And then Aurelia, um, she is going to finish off eating her food and then she's going to do the same and go to bed. So I will go ahead and pick up in the morning when everybody wakes up and I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, so Sabina just headed off to work and Aurelia has just woken up. She's feeling pretty sad about what happened yesterday about the, um, you know, the whole gig um, sorry, about the whole holiday thing. She's feeling pretty sad about that. Um, but either way, she needs to go and use the toilet. And then what I was going to do is, Sabine, when she finishes work today, which she finishes at five o'clock, we're going to head to the realm um, and see if we can get in contact with some of these sages. Because one, I'm sure Sabine would like to get in contact with them to sort of learn a little bit of information about potion making. So see if we can find somebody who is, you know, into that. Um, and then hopefully Aurelia can find out a little bit of information as to why her powers haven't come through yet and why they should have come through, you know, years ago. Um, but she literally has nothing. So um, we will have to go and find that out. But So I realised there was a few other things in the story that you guys probably don't know that I should probably update you on. So, um, right, let me just go over this. One, um, let me just get her with her eyes open. So I realised I forgot to go over this in the last episode. Um, if you guys can see, her eyes are kind of pink. So they've got like a hazel at the bottom and a pink at the top. When she was born, she actually had hazel and blue eyes so the inner was blue and the outer was brown and um as i said you know a lot of things changed when her parents left um basically her hair changed to white um and also she got these weird markings all over her body along with those her eyes actually changed to pink as well which i realized i forgot to let you guys know so that is why her eyes are pink and different um to normal and there's also a few other things witches do know about the other supernaturals such as aliens uh, vampires you know all of those however it is basically forbidden for them to interact with um each other not to interact um more of a case witches and vampires and things they're all basically supposed to be kept secret from all of the humans so there is sort of a a thing that is in place where they shouldn't be together you know like there shouldn't be um okay what's the word what's the word saying this when they're out and about you know like across the street or something like that a group of witches there shouldn't be more than four of them because people would start to notice them there's weird things that you know witches do um and they, the way they dress and things they just look different to you know other normal humans and um who is that oh babes tom peeping what is you doing what is you doing, Tom? Are you trying to peep into the bathroom window? You creep. What a creep. He is actually, he is actually trying to peep into the windows. That is weird. Okay. 
<laughs> all right, Tom. All right. Um, yeah, basically, they're not supposed to go around in a lot la like larger than a group of four of them. Um, and also, witches specifically are, are not supposed to mix with other occults. So, witches should not be mixing with vampires and things. They should not be having friendly relationships or romantic relationships with vampires um, or aliens or mermaids or anything. So, they should all be keep kept separately. And if they are socializing together, which obviously witches can be friends with each other, those occults can be friends, they shouldn't be going in a group with other people you know like they shouldn't be in a huge group of each other um the only places that that is allowed is in their own towns for example forgotten hollow uh vampires are allowed to go around in big groups of themselves and also glimmerbrook they're also allowed to but that's because they're their own towns and it's mainly filled up with all of that supernatural type does that make sense let me know if it makes sense <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that that is, you know, how it kind of works in the whole supernatural realm and how they, you know, how they keep it a secret from the humans. That is, like, the best way forward that, um, you know, it's a very old ancient rule that's always stuck that they've always just, you know, continue to follow. So, um, we are actually going to have Sabine take Aurelia to the magic realm. Um, so let's have them go do that, which I'm realizing now... Aurelia has this glimmer stone um, that she can't even use because she's not, you know, she's not magical at all. Um, but Sabine doesn't even have one. I don't know why. She didn't get given one. But either way, she doesn't have one. So we need to go to the portal ourselves and walk into it every time. So let's have both of these kiddly winkies. Well, they're not actually kiddly winkies. They're, they're women. Um, let's have both of them actually head into the portal and see if we can get in contact with any of the sages. Oh my god, do you see that? Guys, did you just see that? I was literally just like completely AFK. But did you just see Lucy uh Lucidia? She just went up on like her um on her broom. That looked really cool. Okay. We are here. So Aurelia um actually needs to go and find one of the sages. Um so I'm wondering which one we should talk to. So Lucidia is here. Is this a sage? This lady here? Amelia Ernest. How do we find out if they're a sage? Okay, this guy must be a sage. This is a sage of untamed magic. Okay, let's go and talk to this guy. Um, let's go and give him a friendly introduction. And in the meantime, Sabine can find someone to talk to herself. So, that was one of the sages because he's got that thing above his head. So, let's see if we can find another one. Ah, there we go. Okay, what does he do? This is a sage of practical magic okay let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to this guy as well there we go okay let's get introduced introduced to the sages and i'm also going to do a complete makeover of all the sages separately so they're all going to have a cute little alpha cc makeover as you guys know um i like them to blend in with the rest of my town so i will go ahead and do that in a separate video which will probably be coming over the weekend as well so be expecting that but either way let's have aurelia come over here and actually start talking to morgan ember dag dag and he seems pretty okay with talking to us. Um, oh my god. Who are you into? Oh my god. Okay, you guys would never get this. Sabine is into Simeon. Is it Simon? I think it's Simon, right? Did I just call him Simeon? <laughs> Wait, please tell me. His name is Simon, right? It doesn't look like Simon, but let's just call Simon. Okay, um, apparently she's right interested in Simon. She finds him quite attractive, which is crazy to me. But, um, okay, let's just ask him about his day. You know, let's just try and be friendly. Please don't flirt with him. Don't just come right out and flirt with him. Okay, magic. So what can we do? We can ask for magical training. Request a glimmer stone. Okay, let's first of all request a glimmer stone because she doesn't even have one, right? So I feel like she should definitely, you know, grab one since she's a magical person. We can challenge to magic duel, give potion, ask to teach a potion recipe. Oh, yeah, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's see if we'll do that. Right, amazing. He went ahead and gave us a glimmer stone. Thank you very much, Simon. Simeon, where be the name it? <laughs> and. Oh, I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Let's get to know each other third, then I'll decide if you are worthy. Oh, okay, boo. Thinking that you're above everybody. Okay. Right, how about we ask, you know, ask some information about him. Maybe tell a joke about monkeys, you know, just do the old, the old bamboo, you know. Um, get to know him a bit and just, you know, chat him up, basically. See if we can actually get to know him. 
and tell him an engaging story. Okay, so Aurelia's actually over here talking to Lucida. Um, I don't think she got very far with the sage that she was talking to, who has actually just disappeared. So I need to go ahead and find him again because he is just gone. Okay, he's gone walkabouts. Right, let's go over here and talk to Mr. Morgan and find out what is going on. Hey, Nebris. Gloss. Fliffle? Diola? Bakira? Closive. Brachibosa. Soy Briff. Ah, we do need growl here, Smith. Oga. New Yapsa. Soon name. Bonnie Robbie. Sip it won't bleed. Bliss Brainum. Floy my shardo. Ha ha, yo yo. Hey, Pam. A Fweeny Sue. Rosta. James the Belfin. Turinga. Okay, so as you guys would have seen from that literal like thing that we just had play out, um, Aurelia just found out, so I'm gonna go ahead and recap everything. Um, Aurelia just found out that she was spellbound, okay? So when her parents went away, um, basically her magic was sort of kept in her, if that makes sense. Um, and she, you know, she didn't, she wasn't able to unlock it when she was younger. Um, and he said that was why, you know, your hair ended up turning white. He said the reason why all of that stuff happened to you and, you know, those markings on your body, that was where the magic was trying to get out of your body. Um, and it couldn't. So that was the magic sort of, you know, its way of showing you as the host that it was, you know, it was kind of trapped inside. Um, and he knew exactly what to do. Um, he said, you know, I just need to go ahead and do a spell on you to, you know, um, to um, uncap the spell, he said, and then you'll be able to sort of use your magic. He said, but um, the only issue with you doing that is you'll only be able to use untamed magic. Because she was spellbound for so long, her magic is really untamed. He said, so the only type of magic that you're going to be able to practice to start off with is going to be untamed magic. And then eventually you'll be allowed to use practical magic and, you know, the other types of magic, he said. But the only one that you're going to be able to use right now is untamed magic. He said, which... He said, you're kind of in luck because, I'm, because an I'm an untamed magic sage. So I can quite easily teach you it and a way of doing it. A way of at yeah. least doing it safely. Um, but that is the only downside to it. So um, luckily now she has finally unlocked her magic for her because the sage has managed to do that for her. But um, that does mean that she is only allowed to use untamed magic at least for a little while until she can kind of control her powers a little bit. Um, so we'll have to see how Aurelia's story plays out from here. So, um, she just finished talking to, um, talking to the sage. Her and him actually get on kind of well, like her and Morgan, which is quite good. So, um, they're doing pretty well. And he actually, um, went ahead and, um, told her how to use her first spell. So, she, so she can now use a magic, um, called Infernite, I think it's called. So, um, let's see if we can actually go and use this somewhere. Um, because I'm sure she's never been able to use magic before. This must be really, really exciting for her. So, let's see if we can find something to set on fire. <laughs> so, um, let me see if I can find something that's, you know, um, acceptable to set on fire there's actually a wild mandrake plant out here which i actually want sabine to come over here and harvest so let's have her come over here and do that and then i will find something else for um aurelia to set on fire okay can she set this on fire no okay she can only look for frogs in that i don't even know what she can set on fire though that's the only issue <laughs> um let me have a quick search around and see if i can find anything that can be set on fire what is up there Okay, this is the training grounds. Can she set one of these things on fire? What can she set on fire over here? Maybe the bench. Oh, yes. Okay, let's set the bench on fire. Hold on. Let's have a go over to the HQ. Um, and let's go and set this bench on fire. I want to see what this is like. And then Sabine can go and harvest that to bring back. I'm sure she can use that for some of her potions as well. And, um, of course, Sabine actually met that guy that she was kind of interested in. That, um 
Simon, who's uh, who she unexpectedly was very attracted to. So, um, yeah, that is him. He is the uh, the sage of practical magic. So I feel like now Sabine's probably going to be kind of into um, looking into practical magic because she wants to impress her sage. Um, I feel like that would be a really good thing for her to do to see if she can impress him. But in the meantime, let's see what Aurelia can do with her Infernite. I think it's called Infernite, something like that. Hold on, let me just check. Open the spell book. Okay. So, Untamed Magic. Infernite. Instantly incinerate your target with the power of magic. Oh my god. Okay, so... Her, um, she dedicates herself to only the most powerful and uncontrollable spells. Magic is a force to be controlled. Well, hopefully, she doesn't have any issues trying to control it. Because, obviously, this is, like, her first time, um, this is, like, her first time ever using magic. So, this is probably going to be a really big thing for her. So, let's see if we can go and set something on fire, shall we? <laughs> Oh my god, look at this! She managed to nail it! She's so impressed with herself! Oh my god, she was so impressed. That is so cute, I love her so much. Um, and she can also go ahead and actually practice her untamed magic. So, why don't we have her go and do that? Let's practice a little bit of untamed magic. Oh, did she just set it on fire more? I swear that just set on fire more than what it was a second ago. She's doing so well though, like considering this is her first time using her powers, everybody else has used her powers for hours. And she's already unlocked Zip Zap. Okay, so what is Zip Zap? Let's go have a look. Harness electrical energy and give something a jolt. Ooh, okay. Let's see if we can go find someone to go and play a bit of a trick on. <laughs> I'm sure she's like, oh my god, I can't wait to use all of these powers. I can't believe I just learned two spells on my first time practicing magic. Okay, right. Let's see if we can find somebody to go and zip zap. Um, okay. These guys are in the middle of doing a duel. Um, who have we got over here? Mary and Brent. Okay, let's grab Mary. Mary's actually getting uh, screwed over. Maybe we shouldn't pick them. I feel like she's she's already in a bit of a bad spot. What is that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Um, okay, what about this girl over here? Let's go and give a friendly introduction to this Grace girl. And let's just see if she'll just let us, you know, zip zap her. Um, and in the meantime, Sabine is actually really tired. Um, so I'm going to have her go and head on off to sleep. And then Aurelia is going to see if we can do this zip zap on this Grace girl. And then also see if we can pick up a new wand. But it is really late. Um, but luckily, she, you know, she does her own working from home stuff. So she doesn't even have to, you know, uh, be up for anything in the morning. Okay, let's talk to Grace a little bit. Maybe ask her about her day. We'll be friendly with her, you know, get to know her a little bit and stuff. Um, get to know her. And then let's just go straight in. And, oh, okay. Friend Wait, look at this stuff. Okay, hold on. So, she can do a friendly jewel. Jewel for knowledge. Learn some new spells. Win some wands or brooms. <gasps> wow, okay. That would be really cool. I feel like we should just... Okay, I feel like maybe... We should do a friendly jewel just first of all. Just see if she can, like, learn a little bit, if you get what I mean. Just say, you know, it's my first time using spells. I've been spellbound for, like, my whole entire life. Never even knew. Um, would you mind if we just had a quick jewel just so I could practice some of the new spells that I just learned? And see if she would mind sharing that. Hopefully Lucidia doesn't see us. Well, actually, hopefully she does. I'm sure she's going to be really impressed that her niece has finally learned how to use her magic. Okay, here we go. This is her first jewel. Oh, okay, she just got screwed. <laughs> Okay, this is not going so great so far. No, come on. Pick up some spells. Come on, I want to see you do something. Oh, she blocked something now. Oh, she's blocking. She's blocking. She's doing well. She's doing well. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. She's not doing well. Oh, no. <laughs> Grace is like, got ya. Why are you impressed? This girl has never done magic in her life. But after all of that, she actually just leveled up to a neophyte as well, which is really cool for her. So she has now got some talent points to you. She's got two. So Sim reads and does um, Sim reads and does magic research at a faster rate. These magical introductions, these magical interactions also provide magical experience over time. Discharging and experimenting. 
I feel like we should probably do the knowledge is magic because she's definitely a reader. Obviously, she, she writes a lot and stuff like that. And then maybe go ahead and do the discharge because I'm assuming that means that she can discharge her... Uh, or she, I don't know. Yeah, let's do that because obviously her untamed magic, I'm sure, is going to have some issues with her. So I feel like that would probably be the best thing to go for. So let's try that. In the meantime, we are going to actually have Aurelia head home. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited because she is finally a spellcaster and she's already now at the same level as Sabine. So I'm sure Sabine will have a slight amount of resentment against her, but it must be pretty impressive considering she hasn't had her powers for years and she has finally unlocked her powers thanks to her sage, which of course we're going to have to come back and thank um, what was his name again? Uh, his name was Morgan. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to come back and thank Morgan for everything that he's done for us with unlocking our, um, you know, our magic, considering we're spellbound. He did say that you need to be extra careful, he said, because obviously you've had all this magic trapped in for so long. He said it's gonna be really, um, untamed and it's gonna be, um, really reckless for a little while, so... Okay, so we have just got back to the standard realm, shall we call it. And um, as you can see, after sort of using some of her spells and playing around and getting all excited, um, Aurelia actually has, you know, discovered a few boundaries that her magic has that maybe most people's magic wouldn't have. So specifically, she actually has a curse of uncontrollable charge. So because all that built up energy had been inside her for so long, um, she now has an uncontrollable charge where it just wants to constantly get out. Um, and now she will draw too much energy and all of her gains are increased. So I don't know exactly what that means, but unfortunately she is going to have to um, handle that, you know, with all the might that she has. But at least she can now use some of her powers, um, even if she can only use uncontrol uh, untamed magic, you know, maybe later on once she controls her untamed magic, she will actually be able to start working on the standard types of magic that everybody else can do. So... I'm sure Aurelia is really, really excited to use all that stuff. I'm actually going to go ahead and end the episode off here. So as always, if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get around to them as soon as I can. And if you're new, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps our little family grow. And if you just want to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button, you get notified every single time I upload, which means you never miss one of my uploads. And I think that is everything. So as always, I love you all and I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye guys!